Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to deal with consolidated profit or loss account. In my previous videos, I have already discussed about consolidated financial position. I have given the link above. So if you want to have a better understanding about consolidated financial position, so what you can do is you can go and watch those videos, okay? Now let's move on to the topic today. So topic for discussion today is consolidated statement of profit or loss, okay? So under this, so when you prepare consolidated statement of profit or loss or the income statement, so what you need to do? So the basic principle, what is the basic principle? The basic principle is to add across the income and expenses of parent and subsidiaries okay so you need to add you need to add the income and expenditure the line items okay uh, by line by line basis okay so you need to add all the income and expenditure items okay of parent and subsidiaries. For example, let's say you have the parent and subsidiary. So transactions are there, let's say 100 and here 200. So what you need to do is you need to take the total of the parent and subsidiaries, which will be 300. Then if there are any adjustments to be made, that has to be eliminated from the adjustment column. So let's say adjustment is 50. So your consolidated figure will be 300 minus 50, 250, okay? So this is known as consolidation schedule. You need to prepare a consolidation schedule to identify the consolidated uh, the figures or the group figures okay so in order to do, in order to do that what you need to do is you need to prepare a consolidation schedule so that you can identify the consolidated profit or loss okay for example for example you can see a format of a consolidation schedule this is the format this is the parent figures this is the subsidiary figures you are given the the financial figures from revenue to the profit for the period okay and subsidiary is also given so what you need to do is you need to take this into a total column okay for example revenue parent 1000 subsidiaries 500 so in this case what you need to do is you need to you need to add up these two figures. So that will be 1,500. So likewise, all these items will have to be added and you need to take uh, in this uh, total column. As you can see, the total net profit for parent is 155 and subsidiary is 95. So when you add these two, so that will be the total group profit should be 250. However, there can be intercompany transactions. So intercompany transaction uh, has to be eliminated when you prepare the consolidated or the group financials. So therefore, for example, here you are given two elimination entries, which is the dividend entry and intercompany sales entry. Okay, so now here the revenue and the cost of sales are eliminated. So 1,500 minus 100 will be 1,400. 600, uh, when you eliminate this 100, it will be 500, okay? So this is how you eliminate the entries in the consolidation schedule. And also, as you can see, uh, dividend receipt from subsidiaries 50. So when it comes to the 
consolidation okay the group has uh, not earned any uh, any dividend as a parent company as a single entity they have earned uh, a dividend from subsidiaries so that can be shown in the uh, separate or the standalone financials however when it comes to consolidation this 50 uh, dividend received cannot be shown in the consolidation because the group doesn't have any investment to pay so therefore that has to be removed so once you remove you can see the consolidated net profit will be 200 okay so this is how you prepare the consolidation schedule okay now let's move on to a question to understand this concept Paul company acquired 100% of Sam company on 1st October 2020. This is very important. Acquisition date is very, very important. And also the percentage acquisition. So 100% acquired. So therefore, Sam company is a fully owned subsidiary of Paul company. And it was acquired on 1st October 2020. The abbreviated results of both companies for the year in the 31st December 2020 are as follows. Now you are given 12 months, 12 months transactions. Okay. However, the same company was acquired on 1st October 2020. So therefore, from October to December, the, the period is only three months okay so therefore since paul subsidiary uh, sam is a subsidiary of paul company when you when you add sam company financials with paul company you can't take 12 months the total uh, revenues and the net uh, expenses so you need to take only three months transactions Okay, uh, you are given the financials of Paul company and the Sam company. Okay, uh, let's go through the notes. Sam company has not paid a dividend to Paul company since acquisition. So, which means there are no intercompany transactions. It's a straightforward uh, question. The results of Sam company accrue evenly throughout the year. Okay, so which means all the transactions are accruing evenly throughout the year so therefore what you can do is for example uh, because of this assumption the revenue when you take the revenue what you need to do you need to take only for three months so basically what you need to do is you need to divide this by 12 multiply by three all these items you uh, you have to divide it by 12 and multiply by three so thereby you will get the uh, three months figures. Okay. So when you take 24,000 divided by 12 times three, it will be 6,000. So you take the pole company as it is. Okay. Pole company is the parent company. So therefore you need to take the subsidiary company three months transactions. Okay. So 24,000, three months revenue will be 6000 then cost of sales if you take 13200 which is for 12 months you take 3 months transactions so 6000 minus 3000 that will be 2700 then you take uh, expenses 6000 so when you divide by 12 times 3 it will be 1500 then your profit before tax 1200 income tax you need to take proportionately 300 the profit is 900 then you add line by line basis you need to apply so once you add you need to add all these items and you need to take the consolidated numbers or the figures so 38 plus 6000 will be 44000 okay so likewise you have to add all the items eventually you will get 
the consolidated or the group profit of 4,700, which is 3,800 plus 900, that will be 4,700. 